So today we will see another concept in computer graphics that is the painter's algorithm. The topics that I am going to cover in this video is what exactly the painter's algorithm is and we will see the algorithm in a step by step manner and we will work out with an example what exactly uh, this painter algorithm is and finally we will see what are the advantages and disadvantages of using this algorithm also. Okay, now let's start. Painter's algorithm deals with the image painting. So the name itself it is saying we are working on the image painting. It uses the image space and object space techniques. So if the painter's algorithm has to work, it is mainly dealing with the image space and also the object space. If we want to uh, paint something, so we have to identify what are the objects that are present inside uh, in the view. Okay, and then we have to see the surroundings also. So first, which object need to be painted? Next, which object has to be painted? Whether they are overlapped or not? So everything we need to be considered. So uh, this algorithm is based on these techniques. So it uses the image space as well as the object space techniques. It is a virtual surface determination algorithm. We used to call it as a VSD, virtual surface determination which is similar to the Z buffer algorithm. So painter's algorithm is somewhat similar to the Z buffer algorithm. Its name is painter. Why? Because, because the working of algorithm is just like a painter who is creating an oil painting. The painter who is going to create an oil painting, what techniques he is used to follow. So that the same techniques here is they are applying. That's why this algorithm is used to call it as a painter algorithm. Okay, so it's just working of algorithm is like a painter who is creating an oil painting. So how the painter algorithm, so I'll just tell in a simple brief statement. It starts painting from the empty canvas. So empty canvas. So generally what the oil painter, uh, painter will do, okay, while he is painting uh, on canvas, what he will follow. It starts with painting from empty canvas. He will take the empty canvas. And first he try to create the background. So first he fills the background for painting. Okay. And make it dry. And also known, uh, known as a first layer painting. So this background painting we call it as a first layer painting. Okay. Whenever he completed his first layer painting. After completing the previous layer. Then it works on the next layer. So next what object is behind. Means the foremost so that image is going to be started and after completing the next layer and it works on the final layer and so on. So the image that is uh, so far that is going to be uh, painted and then the, the next image, whatever the next image is there that is going to be painted. So like that he will complete all the layers in this way covering all the layers to complete the previous one. So this is a technique uh, the painter algorithm is also follows. Okay, so the painter algorithm sorts all the polygons in a scene by their depth value. So uh, the painter algorithm is going to take the depth values of whatever the objects that are present on the scene and then paint them in this order, the farthest to closest. So first it tried to paint the farthest one and then the closest one. So here the rectangles are not overlap. If they are not overlap, it's okay. You can paint whatever you want. Whenever they are overlap, then the problem will be rising. So then first we have to draw the farthest object. Okay. And then they are trying to uh, take the closest one, the overlapped one. So first the background images has to be completed. Then the uh, form, uh, closest one picture has to be drawn. So now let's see the algorithm. This algorithm is no, uh, normally used for the polygon painting. Sorting the surface based on the given depth is in increasing order. So first sorting the surface. You have to suppose in the picture there are so many objects. Okay, this one is one object, this one object and uh, this one. And the different objects are there on the picture. So try to sort the surface based on a given depth in increasing order. Start painting from the greatest depth. Whatever the image that is so far, farthest, so first try to the greatest depth in terms. Okay, in terms of the algorithm, we call it as a greatest depth. Start painting from the greatest depth. Compare the surface with surface the visible or, or 
uh, not based on painting layer. This above process repeat until the until the complete all surfaces. Okay, we have to repeat all these steps until the all surfaces are completed. If the surface layer is overlapped completely, then the algorithm has to be stopped. Suppose if the uh, object is completely overlapped with the other object, then try to stop the algorithm. So then first, first sort all objects and name it as a Z minimum and Z maximum. Suppose if Z minimum and Z maximum are adjacent in the sorted list, suppose they are both or Z minimum and Z maximum are adjacent to the sorted list, it is okay, no problem. Because they are not overlapped, anyhow it is adjacent only, then you can easily draw the pic, uh, paint the pictures, then no problem. Suppose if two objects are overlapped, suppose the two objects are overlapped, check whether they are overlapped in X coordinate. First try to check whether they are overlapped in X coordinate. If not, it's okay, no problem. And check whether they are overlap in Y coordinate. If not, if it, it's not overlapped, then it is okay. Suppose if they overlapped in X or Y coordinates, we have to split one. So we try to split this. We have to try to split this. The splitting technique is little bit difficult. First, try to find a plane to split in one polygon. So the new polygon is either present in front or behind the other. If polygon intersects, they have to split by the other. So this is the technique we need to be followed. So see here in the picture, distance background is painted first. First, whatever the distance background is there, okay, empty. So first try to paint this. This is the first layer. We used to call it as a first layer in the painting terms, okay. Then object closer than the background are painted, okay. So first whatever the object that is farthest one that we need to be painted. This is the second layer. In the painting terms okay so then finally nearest objects are painted see here the fan is so farthest the closest one is the this uh, this uh, box is the closest one so this is a third layer so in this way the painting algorithm uh, painters algorithm is following the technique first is trying to paint the background then the closer that the background uh, and finally the nearest objects are painted okay so now let's see what are the advantages of disadvantages of using this algorithm for uh, ordering the polygons uh, painter algorithm is simple algorithm okay it is simple when compared to other algorithms and disadvantages of sorting technique is difficult because we need to find the depth values and based on that we need to sort the objects on the uh, screen okay so sorting technique is a little bit difficult many times it redraws same pixel and there is a chance of redrawing the same pixel. Sorting technique is also expensive. Not only the difficult, the technique is also expensive. Okay. So this is about the painter's algorithm students. Still, if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.